Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. My name is Brennan, and welcome to Brennan G. Lowry Violin. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button to be sure to get the latest BGL Violin content. Also, be sure to check out my social media, which I've linked in the description. Without further ado, enjoy! Today's classical rec is one of the great flautists of the 20th century, none other than the famous Jean-Pierre Rompal. Rompal was born in 1922 in Marseille and died in 2000 in Paris. He is credited with popularizing the flute as a solo instrument in a variety of genres, most notably classical music. His playing earned him awards and honors from multiple countries. According to the Washington Post, he is one of only a few classical musicians to have a place on the Billboard chart for 10 consecutive years. Needless to say, his playing is phenomenal. I've linked a couple of recordings in the description, and I highly recommend you check them out this week. Now it's time for Technique of the Week! This week, I'm covering the basics of two types of vibrato. Vibrato is the term for the oscillation in pitch we find in most singing and string playing. It sounds something like this. As violinists, we have a couple of methods of achieving this effect. These are called arm vibrato and wrist vibrato. I primarily use arm vibrato, but I'm working on developing my wrist vibrato, and I highly encourage you to work on both. Arm vibrato, as the name implies, originates from movements in the arm and looks something like this. Wrist vibrato also lives up to its name, as it originates from movement of the left wrist, like this. I recommend starting with slow, even, fluid motions and slowly working the motions up to speed with the metronome over several weeks, if not months. Hope this helps! Welcome to this week's special topic. Today I'm talking about a simple question. How much does it cost to play the violin? I'm going to discuss this in three basic sections. First, how much money does it cost? Second, how much time does it take to learn? And third, is the time and money worth it? I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the first two sections, and I'll explain why when I get to my third point. First off, how much does playing the violin cost? If I were asked to give a rough estimate of how much it costs on average, I don't know that I could give a specific answer, and let me tell you why. A violin by itself can cost anywhere between $100 and $50,000 without going into the cost of older instruments. A bow can also cost between $100 and $50,000. Violin cases cost anywhere between $50 and several thousand dollars. Rosin costs between a few dollars and $50. Strings cost between $30 and $300. Lessons can cost between $10 and $150 a piece, depending on the teacher, and I think you may be seeing a trend here. It is impossible to give an accurate average cost of playing the violin because costs vary so wildly. One violinist may spend less than $20 a month to keep a violin up as a hobby. Another could spend well over $1,000 a month to maintain a professional instrument, and so on. Second, how much time does it take to learn to play the violin? I would say that it depends on the level of playing you want to reach. To put it as concisely as possible, learning to play the violin takes as much time as you want to give. In a sense, the great masters of the instrument are still learning. More practically, though, the amount of time it takes depends on how much you want to learn. If you want to play as a hobby and spend a small amount of time playing, you absolutely can. If you want to play professionally, it takes a lot more time. To make my point perfectly clear and to answer the final question of, is it worth it? How much playing the violin costs in time and money and whether it's worth it are entirely dependent on what you want out of it. For me, spending what I have on lessons, college equipment, and practice time are well worth it and continue to be worth it because it's something that gives me joy. How much you want to spend, if anything, on playing the violin or any other instrument is entirely up to you, along with whether the cost is worth paying. 
Music is a wonderful thing to me, and I can't imagine living without it, but you have to decide for yourself how you feel about music and whether or not you want to learn to play it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any musicians you want me to shout out in a future classical rec, any violin techniques you want me to cover, or any topics you want me to discuss. If you're interested in violin lessons, send me an email at bglviolin at gmail.com or check out bglviolin.com for more info. See you next week, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.